All right, video three of Feedback Friday. You will see I have had a wardrobe change. You see, because I'm re-recording this video. I originally recorded this video, and then after Twitch on Thursday, we started talking about it, and people brought up a lot of good points, and some of them had made, some of them they made better than me, and I thought, well, this is a dicey subject. I I better get it right. I better re-record the video and and just cover my ass because I have spent uh when did I put those Mortal Kombat videos out Monday I have spent the entire week since then being called a racist by various people because of my views on the Jacks ending and uh I actually spent three hours talking to one of these detractors on Wednesday uh you know uh, I've engaged with some of the other people. All they wanted to do was call me names and, and make assumptions about me. It didn't really go anywhere. But at least this guy seemed open to talking. Um, it turned out it was not the case. Um, but I spent about three hours going, prove to me that I am racist. I am open to this idea that I am racist, that I said something horribly racist. I, I am prepared to be enlightened. And the guy kept saying I said things I didn't say. Um, and I said, you know, I, I said, point to the timestamp. Give me a timestamp in the video where I said something racist. And that's when he directed me to when I said that the ending turned Jackson into a villain. Now, I have evidence for why I think Jax is a villain. A misguided, bitter man wipes out half the people in a portion of the universe to save humanity from itself. You might think I'm describing Jax, but I'm not. I'm actually describing Thanos from, from the Marvel Universe. Thanos is decidedly the villain in Infinity War. Thanos is one of the classic villains in the Marvel Universe. I like his comic book version where he's in love with Lady Death better, but that was his motivation in the movies. That uh, various races, various planets, they were beyond saving, so, you know, he, he got the power to alter reality itself, and instead of just creating more food and space to solve the problem of overpopulation, he killed half the people in those galaxies. And it's not like they had a violent death or they just winked out of existence. Time changed. Reality changed. It's the mark of a villain. That's what Jax did. So it has nothing to do with his race. It's what a villain does. I didn't write the ending. I didn't write Infinity War. You can disagree with me on that. You can think he made the right choice. But that doesn't make me racist, right? Um... Other people got triggered by me using the term ethnostate. And it was really interesting because perhaps that wasn't the, the word to use to keep things calm. I own that. But again, it doesn't make me wrong. Ethnostates are not just about race. They're about cultures. And if there were indications of multiculturalism in that ending, okay, but there weren't. It was all very Afrocentric. In a paradise, I don't think we, some of us don't don't see that as, as ideal race relations. It certainly wasn't Martin Luther King's dream. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., sorry, got to get it all right. There's one more thing I noticed going back and uh, and looking, uh, giving the Jacks ending a, a second look because people were so mad at me. So mad at me. I'm a terrible person. I'm this evil thing because I didn't like the ending of a video game. And for the record, um, I didn't say the, the title of the video was not that the ending was bad. Um, it wasn't that, you know, there was anything wrong. I said, it made me sad. It bothered me, um, which is just my opinion. I'm not saying people aren't entitled to have another opinion. I just didn't like it. Um, and Polygon loved the ending. They thought it was the best ending. Um, uh, which, disagreeing with Polygon usually makes me mean I'm right. Uh, in my mind. And I know that's a joke, but, you know. 
but before I kind of show what I came about, I want to point out one other thing that I forgot to mention. Um, the, um, how do I put this? People alerted me to the Jackie Briggs ending for Mortal Kombat 11. And the fact that she uh, sacrifices herself, she winks out of existence because she goes back and basically makes it so that, I'm going to get this wrong, um, so that the events of Mortal Kombat 9 do not happen to her father. Um, I think that's right. And because that doesn't happen, um, she isn't born. So she winks out of existence. She changed a few years of time. That's all. Um, Jack's changing so much more would, one would think, cause a lot more people to just disappear. So I'm, I'm not just going on basic sort of time travel butterfly effect theory. This is the way it works in this particular game. I'm not talking out of school. So that's another issue. Nothing to do with race. Nothing to do with race. Having to do, again, with you do not have the right to make a choice for, what is it, eight generation? Eight generations of people who are the descendants of slaves? You don't get to make the choice for them whether they exist. It's not freeing the slaves as the guy who claimed I was racist insisted. And he insisted I was racist because I was okay with Moses feeling the, feeling the slaves. He found out I was Jewish and decided to make a big deal about that. But nothing wrong with that, right? Um, but I was okay with Moses freeing the slaves, but I wasn't okay with Jax freeing the slaves. And I kept telling this guy, Jax did not free the slaves. Jax made it so slavery never existed. He changed time. It's not the same thing. Moses did not go back and make it so that Pharaoh never freed the slaves, never never enslaved the slaves in the first place. He just freed them. And I pointed out to the guy, it wasn't actually Moses, it was God. Moses went to Pharaoh and said, let my people go. And Pharaoh said, no. And that's when God at least unleashed all the plagues. Jax didn't free slaves. Jax made it so slavery never happened. So all those people that were born as an offshoot of slavery, they never happened either. Like, that's just how it works. Um, and everybody has a different feeling about, you know, would I rather not exist so slavery wouldn't happen? A lot of people would say yes. A lot of people would say no. Um, you know, it's the, it's basically the, the thought experiment, would you go back and kill Hitler to prevent all that suffering? And, you know, the correct answer is no, because butterfly effect and you could create something much worse uh, by preventing that from happening. Other people say, yes, it's worth it. Um, so on and so forth. It's just a thought experiment. And people are treating this as significantly differently because Jax happens to be black. But here's the final thing I want you guys to note. Because this is where intersectionality gets really complicated and people don't want to deal with it, so they make intersectionality non-intersectional law. Here's the shot from Jax's ending. Do you notice something different about Jax and not the clothes? He's got his human arms, not his cybernetic arms, his regular arms. He has those back. There are a few things wrong with this. One... This means that this is not the same Jax that changed time. What happened to that Jax? Does he not exist? Who is this Jax? This is not the same person. Because the original Jackson Briggs lost his arms. So who is now changing time? Who is in control of all this stuff? That's a bit of a, that's a, bit of a logical problem. But the other complaint is, some would claim this is ableist because this is this is a big debate among people with disabilities whether they would go back and make it so that they would not have their disability now some people would say 
yes, absolutely, I don't want this. Other people would say, um, no, these are part of me. The world should accept me for who I am. And I fall into, it's funny, because certain things, would I want complete use of my hands back? Yes, absolutely. Would I go back and make it so my appendix didn't rupture and I ended up with gangrene when I was 16? No, I wouldn't change that. I actually think that 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 was awful and I almost died, but that made my life better. I wouldn't go back and change that so that didn't happen. As awful and horrifying as it was. Um, The bad things that have happened to me have made me a more empathetic person, more able to understand other people. I wouldn't give that up. And... That's why it's important that everybody be allowed to make their own choice and we not perpetuate this idea that every person with a disability would want to be fully able-bodied. We should be fixing the world so that it is accessible to people with disabilities, not trying to fix the people living with disabilities because there's nothing wrong with them. I don't like the term disabled. I don't. I don't like the term disability. Um, I joke in the, the war on stupid tour that, you know, when someone says the power is disabled, it doesn't mean it's working at 80%. Um, but I think it gives us a wrong idea of the reality of people with disabilities and, um, somebody should not be, um, blocked off from entering a public building Because of three steps. They should be able to wheel up in their wheelchair. That wheelchair is a tool, not a sentence, right? And I'm not one to throw around the is words. That's why I said some people would say that. But it really is. This is the problem with, with wokeness, okay? This is the problem with making strong political statements in a game about people ripping off each other's spines and then getting back up again. In making uh, Wakanda Forever ending, and I maintain it's not Wakanda for many reasons, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, They kind of stepped on the fact that Jax, among many things, is a character with a disability. The same way the uh, main character in Sekiro is a character with a disability. They have lost a limb or multiple limbs and require a prosthetic to replace the functionality of those limbs. And I think that these characters are important role models for people with disabilities. Even though they have superpowers and that's not the life of regular people, you know, um, kids with prosthetic arms, you know, soldiers with prosthetic legs, prosthetic hands, they can see themselves in characters like this. And I would prefer he'd not given that up. For that reason. A lot of people don't think about Jax as disabled because when you think about it, like, oh, wow, um, he gets these super strong, cool bionic arms. I'm like, why would anyone want to give that up? That's freaking cool. Like, but not for me to judge. But you know what I'm saying? Like, there are complications over and above the simple identity politics that the sending invokes. And that was my issue with it. And... If that's racism, everybody's racist and we have no hope. So I'd prefer to not think of that as racist because no one was able to prove that there was any racist connotation to what I said, saying what I said. People had to assume that I'd be fine with a white ethno state in a video game. And then, you know, I pointed out, no, I took a ton of crap about the Witcher games because I complained about the backgrounding of the Zeracanians. People got mad at me for that. So I've been consistent. Um, but yeah, those accusations are toxic and they don't go anywhere. And it's not true, but I can't even say it's not true, right? Because, oh, of course you'd say you're not racist, racist. Nothing one can do. In better news, YouTube turned back on the monetization for the Beelzebub video. From when I I shot the last two videos in this one, they turned it back on after I lost all that traffic. Thanks, YouTube. Freaking nothing. So I can't even get people to finger properly because my, my hands are all, they don't open properly independently, the fingers. Anyway, 
That's it for me for the week. Help support this channel. Become a monthly patron. Patreon.com slash Leanna K. Thanks for watching.